How do you recognize your soulmate? If you meet 100 potential partners, when have you met enough to know your best match? A computer scientist might have an answer, after you've met 37%. In this video, you'll learn the computer science theory that might help you find love, as well as how it generalizes to a broader class of life problems. We'll also discuss a related idea that you can use in other areas of life to find things you enjoy. These ideas come from the interesting book, Algorithms to Live By, The Computer Science of Human Decisions by Brian Christian and Tom Griffiths. Finding the best romantic match belongs to a broad class of problems called optimal stopping problems. In an optimal stopping problem, the challenge is to determine how many options to consider before committing to one. One famous formulation of this problem is the secretary problem. Imagine you're interviewing a set of applicants for a secretary position and you want to find the best applicant in the pool. Each time you interview someone, you can choose to hire them, terminating the search. If you pass, however, they are forever lost. If you stop too early, you leave the best applicant undiscovered, but when you stop too late, you let the best go, hoping for someone that doesn't exist. The challenge is finding the right balance between looking and leaping. This leads to the look then leap rule. You spend a predetermined amount of time looking, i.e. considering the options, and then you enter the leap phase, where you instantly commit to any applicant that's better than what you've previously seen. Computer scientists found that as the number of applicants increase, the optimal point to stop looking converges to 37% of the total pool size. So out of 100 applicants, you look for the first 37, and then you enter leap mode. If you're interested in how they arrive at that number, check out the book as I don't have time to cover the process properly here. To be clear, this strategy doesn't guarantee you'll find the best candidate, but it does maximize your chance of doing so, giving you incidentally around 37% chance of picking the best. It is the optimal strategy. So applied to dating, we should consider the first 37% of potential partners and then be ready to leap for anyone better than those you've met already. Disclaimer, don't take this rule too seriously. I don't want anyone sending any, sorry, you're in the first 37% breakup texts. The main takeaway is that there is a looking, leaping trade-off for many problems of this form, including finding an apartment to rent or selling your house. Optimal stopping problems relate closely to another key idea in computer science, exploration versus exploitation. In this context, exploration is gathering information about the world and exploitation is using known information to get a good result. For example, let's say you have a choice between 10 different fruits to eat. You know you like two of these fruits, but the remaining eight are unknown. If you pick one of the two known ones, you'll have a guaranteed good experience. But if you try a new fruit, you could find something you like even more. Of course, you might not and have a bad experience. So how do you balance favorite experiences with new ones? According to the book, the key factor is the interval over which we plan to enjoy them. The value of exploration, that is trying new things, goes down over time because you have less time to enjoy it. Conversely, the value of exploitation goes up over time. Therefore, the authors advise to explore when you'll have a long time to use the resulting knowledge and exploit when you don't have much time. So if you're only in town for a day, stick with your favorite cafe. If you'll be there for two years, take the time to explore. That's it for today. I hope you found these ideas interesting. If you did, feel free to subscribe. The focus of this channel is on entrepreneurship stories and ideas, but I want to explore broader self-improvement topics as well. I'm still in the exploration phase for this channel, so any feedback is very welcome. If you're interested in learning more, definitely check out the book. Full disclaimer, I haven't actually read it fully yet, uh, so form your own opinion on it, uh, but it is an intriguing and very well-researched book. Uh, worth looking into. Thanks and hopefully catch you next time.